one thing that will carry on forever to be attached to your legacy, what's the one thing that you would leave us? Good question. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. But don't, I don't want to just say that. I want to define it, right? Because everybody knows what that says. Almost nobody knows what it means, okay? So the Bible is not a book about religion. It contains religion, but Satan started it. In Genesis chapter three, the religion of hedonism, which is now humanism, man becomes his own God. That was the first religion in the history of the world. The Bible is a book about a king, a kingdom, a royal family, and the culturalization of a foreign land called earth. Jesus Christ, who was salvation, his death, burial, and resurrection is salvation, according to the Bible. When he went around preaching, he did not preach the gospel of salvation, though he was salvation. Even the name Jesus means salvation. The name Yeshua means salvation. He did not preach salvation. You know what he preached? He preached the kingdom of heaven at hand. The primary purpose of salvation was to restore kingdom. And so when it says, seek you first the kingdom of God, what is the kingdom of God? It's when I yield my life to God as the sovereign king of my life. He owns me. So I'm his. I yield my life to him as my sovereign king. When I yield my life to him as my sovereign king, he makes me the king over an assignment. As the king over that assignment, I get to rule over that assignment with sovereignty. It has to do, when I'm yielded to God my, as my king, my assignment has to yield to me. It doesn't have a choice. But here's where the kingdom of God, what makes it so magnificent, so beautiful, and so world-changing. I use the assignment that I rule over to serve every human being I come in contact with. I know I am not, I'm here by myself, but I'm not here for myself. That's what I mean when I say, seek you first the kingdom of God. Yield your life to God as your sovereign king. Rule over your assignment as the sovereign king or queen over that assignment. Use that assignment to serve every human being you come in contact with. If you do that, your life will be complete. It will be fulfilled. It will be energized. It will matter. It will have impact. And guess what? All these things will be added unto you. You won't have to worry about what you're going to eat or where you're going to drink or what you're going to put on. It all, it's all taken care of. That's, that's the answer. Is that helpful? Good question. Yeah.